so recently I had a subscriber message me on Facebook and ask me about stretching out of the closet first. I've had lots of comments about people say you should stretch out of the closet first. Well, um, I actually responded to the, to the gentleman, I think I won't mention his name, but anyway, I responded to him and told him typically I do stretch out of the closet first. In the video that he was referring to, I did not, but I told him most of the time I did. Um, I just want to correct that, and most of the time I don't start in the closet first. Um, so I want to apologize for leading you in the wrong way if I did. Um, I hope you accept that apology, and I want to explain why I do not stretch out of the closet first, and maybe maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. Um, typically, in, our, in our, your average room, the closet is going to be on the end of the room. Um, the way I stretch, I will go, I'll stretch crossways and longways, and then I'll finish up crossways, because what I'll do is I'll get me just a couple stretches crossways. You're going to get your most stretch out of the length of the room. So if your room like this one here, for instance, is like 17 foot, and it's like 12, it's just like a barely over 12 foot wide. So um, naturally, I want to get I want to get my stretching in the way that I can get the most stretch long ways versus crossways because it's going to get more stretch pulling long ways than it is crossways because I got more material. So naturally it's going to stretch more the length way. So I always go crossways, long ways, and then I finish up crossways. What I'll do is I'll give me just a couple of stretches <coughs> crossways. I don't want to go too much, but, and I'm fixing to explain that. If I get me four or five stretches and I'm all the way over here on my first stretch, well, whenever I turn around and go long ways, I'm not going to be able to, uh, <coughs> this part of the wall right here, it's going to be tied off all the way up here. So this part of the wall is not really going to get a pull that way whenever I'm stretching long ways. So, and the same way, if I, if I started off coming, if I kick this closet back and stretched long ways first out of the closet, this is going to be tied off all the way down here. I want to say I'm going to make my stretches all the way up here. Well, And then I'm gonna, I, you always wanna do a couple here, and then what you do, you go a couple, tie off and go this way, and then a couple more. So if I did my couple here, and then I did all this wall, do my first couple long ways out of the closet, like people say that you should do it, and then I stretch the uh, complete wall over here, well, by the time that I'm coming back here lengthways, where I need to get my best stretch lengthways, this whole wall's tied off. So I'm not getting much of a pull when I get within a couple, two or three feet here, finishing up long ways, I'm not getting much of a pull because this whole wall is tied off right here. So I always go crossways, long ways. After I get my wall set back there, I'll go crossways, set that wall, and then get the full width of the room long ways. That way it's not all tied off over here. And um, finish up crossways. Okay, so I've only got, I got more room this way than I do this way. I got more length than uh, crossways. So the majority of my stretch, like I said a while ago, I want to get lengthways. So that's the reason why I start out crossways and not out of my closets because most of the time, like I said, the closets are on the end of the room. And, um, uh, some people say stuff about tying the doorway off first. This is a perfect example right here. I've already got this doorway tied off. The reason why I do that first is because I have a closet right here, okay? If the closet wasn't there and the closet was on the other side of the room, I would have tied that corner off first because what's gonna happen, I got this already cut down and folded in. If I stretch this way, it's gonna pull short right here. So. Wherever your closet is, that's pretty much where you want to tie that corner off first. But it don't mean you got to stretch out of it. Okay? I hope that made a little bit of sense. I'm going to go ahead and run this video, and you guys can watch us do this room, and maybe you'll get maybe you can uh, get better from looking. I know I do. So I'm just going to we're going to go ahead and just do this room, and I'll let you see exactly what I'm talking about.
there. If you'll notice what he did there, he went ahead right in the center where the closet is. He bumped that back and tied that part off. Now when I get my stretches here, it's still going to pull out of the closet. So it don't really matter if you pull out of the closet first or not. So if you'll watch whenever I'm right here by the edge of the wall, I'm finishing up. This is the last stretch of the whole room. Watch right here. I'm going to get a little wrinkle, okay? Well, actually, you could just see it pull from here. Well, had I done that long ways and this had all been tied off, this length way would not have got a good stretch at all. And it does have just a tiny bit right there, so I want to just do that right there, and that's going to let it pull tight, and then I can just pack that right back down there. Okay, so that's why I don't do it long ways, because I want to get my good stretch long ways. Okay. Okay. So, and um, if you noticed, as soon as I got my long stretch, Jerry went right over there and started on that other wall. By the time I was done stretching up lengthways, he had it ready for me to come this direction. So we just work in unison like that. We've been working together a long time, so uh, pretty much got one another figured out what and when needs to happen. So.
I hope that explained my stretching techniques a little bit better. And again, I apologize if I mess, misled someone in the wrong direction, okay? Notice he's not killing himself kicking that. That's because he kicks in all directions in the closet to make sure it gets good and you don't have to kill yourself kicking. So he actually kicked that way and that way. So you're getting twice the amount of kick and kicking half as hard. So definitely helps you out, helps your knees.